I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. What is happening, everyone? Shibby2142 here. This is Battlefield 2 on the PC. I'm going to try and play Commander, which is not even true because I do play Commander. So <laughs> there we go. Starting off the commentary, just totally legit. So right now, I'm the commander of the Marines team. Page up to accept, no problem. Jump in the Black Hawk here, which in this game is absolutely incredible. The guns on it are super powerful and it's a ton of fun. This is the commander screen. And let me just say this right now, if you're not used to the commander in this game at all, you might be very confused. Because to me, it feels like a game of chess. It's almost like I'm um, micromanaging like something like in StarCraft. And for some reason I hit escape. I don't know why. And then I jump out and die. So there we go. Starting off the round super legit. I was trying to parachute or exit the vehicle in some way and I don't know. So <laughs> Let's spawn at the mosque. The central flag in this map. Put down a claymore. If you're not sure what a claymore is then you're just a noob. Just kidding, alright, so basically a claymore is a mine that you put in front of, usually a doorway around a corner, if someone walks in front of it they die. And using the scan on the commander screen I light up all the enemies, there's no ghost or anything like that. I'm going to lay down the artillery here. And as a commander there's only one per team, you don't have to have a commander but you should because it's awesome. You get a lot of toys, so I can scan, which I did, I can drop artillery. I can use a UAV which lasts for 20 or 30 seconds. Also I have a supply drop which can give players health and ammo. It can also repair vehicles and commander assets. Right now if you look on the more right side of this map you see my two artillery guns, the radar which is the scan, the UAV trailer. Someone on the enemy team, or I guess my teammates if friendly fire might be on perhaps, you can put C4 on it and blow it up. So then the commander or someone, so right there you see that red dot on my two artillery guns. Right now they're getting c 4 which to my knowledge was not happening. But whatever, and I hit escape again. What? I don't know. It's been a while since I played this game. And your job as commander is not to actually play the round. I do have a clutch kill eventually towards the end. So right there you see my two commander guns on the right side are now yellow, which means they're down. And I can select squads to say attack here, repair here, do this, do that. So usually if it's a good commander, uh, you spot enemies, you right click spotted, right click spot, and then it'll spot the closest enemy towards your mouse if there's someone, you know, close. So people might think that's annoying because it says sniper spotted, enemy spotted, blah blah, spotted. To me, I've been playing this game long enough, or have, that I literally don't hear that anymore. I just know what's happening, and it's kind of like that reload glitch that during Bad Company 2, when I do the reload cancel, you'll get that from time to time, and honestly, I don't even notice it. I don't even see it, because I'm so trained from playing that it's just, it's not there. So, I know it bothers some of you guys, but honestly, I don't notice it at all. And let's see, I can zoom down here to see what my boys are doing. Looks like they need a vehicle, so there you go. There's a Hummer. Why not? Enjoy your Humvee, you bunch of proned snipers, which are not playing the objective as per usual. And right now, the teams are actually pretty even. This round comes down right to the wire, which is why I kind of want to show it to you, because as the commander, it feels like it is my duty, it is my job for helping my team to win. And I saw the big blob of red guys, so those are all enemies, they're all marked in red. They're waiting for the helicopter to spawn. And the best thing to do, that I just laugh my ass off, is when you can time the artillery to blow up the helicopter before it takes off. And you get basically six kills, and it is just hilarious because the artillery is so strong in this game. It basically levels any flag area, if the shells hit right, it just kills people one hit. And then I'm pretty sure armor might take one or two, but it does significant damage. So that's why a lot of people like destroying it on the other team right away. And other than that, the UAV is the next big set piece 
That's kind of a big deal. The scan trailer, not so much. Supply drop, eh. Vehicle drop, eh. Whatever, at least that's how I play commander. I do a lot of the, the spotted, spotted, enemy spotted, enemy infantry spotted. You'll hear that all the time. Enemy infantry spotted. So, I don't know. You get trained just not to hear it, and it's extremely helpful because I'm a big mini-map player. I like seeing where enemies are, and then I mentally know where they are on the map, and then can take the tactical position to take them out. So the reason why I'm watching this so closely is that the helicopter, basically you can spawn and obviously drop your players off, and it's a really good way to move around and cap out the map. There's an enemy sniper in there just waiting for me to drop supplies and repair my artillery. Basically then, he's out of C4 at the moment. He'll go get more C4 from that supply drop, and then to start the cycle all over of blowing up my stuff, but I believe he drives off. I think he might be going for the Black Hawk, which is already flying around, so that's a total fail. I'm just uh, spotting more people. Once again, this is how the commander usually is typically playing. I uh, don't get rushed by anyone. I'm in a house right now with the Claymore guarding the door, so it's kind of a good strategy there not just to be out in the open. Uh, squads can also request different things. Right there, the squad requested either a vehicle drop or supplies, and then I can right-click accept, right-click deny. For some reason, again, I hit escape. That's kind of a bad habit from Bad Company 2 to get out of screens. So you'll notice that a few times, but once again, I'm still trying to get used, back used to this game. Although I've put 500, 600 hours into it, you know, it takes, takes a little bit of time to get back on the horse. Now, this will probably be one of the more boring gameplays just because I'm not running around and killing people, but you got to respect the tactical decisions and the patience and kind of the dedication to your team to take the commander position. It's not for everyone, that is for sure. If you just take commander and you're basically just running around the map playing and not using your assets, you're not helping your team because these tools are very powerful right there. I'm just dropping artillery, blowing up stuff, taking out the AA so then my Black Hawk can do their thing. So, very effective. Right now I have seven squads that I can uh, give a bunch of commands to. And you can also tell them, good work squad. Or you can say like, you are the worst squad I've ever seen. So sometimes if I'm playing with buddies or used to, I just spam the shit out of their squad, just telling them that they're horrible and they should divide and break up. And it's so funny. And one thing that I'll mention about Commander is that you do not get normal points. Now, what I mean by that is you will not be getting points for kills. I believe you do not get points for flag captures, things like that. And then you're like, man, that must suck. Commander kind of blows. Why would anyone want to play that? Well, if you win, the incentive to win is that you'll get double points times two points. So I think right now I have 10 points. That's that's horrible. That's that's nothing. Now, this is a much lower scoring game than Bad Company 2. And Bad Company 2 kills are typically between 150 points depending on the game mode you're playing. And a kill in this game is one point. So it's a lot different. Way different, way different. And also in Battlefield 2, which I believe someone confirmed that in Battlefield 3, when you get revived, it will not count as another death. So what I mean by that is you die, you get killed, now you're incapacitated, you're basically hurting. And I just jump, jump ship there to the next frame. Their commander, I'll talk about the revive in a second, but anyways, their commander is on top of this hotel, which is a great spot, I'm not going to deny. Because to kill him, either we would have to fly the helicopter up there, or I'd have to artillery him or squish him with a supply box, which you can do in this game. But the supply box does not fall straight down, and sometimes it kind of drifts a little bit with the wind because of the parachute. So basically I'm playing a little cat and mouse with him. If he pokes out, I'll be able to know. So he's just chilling right there. I can zoom in, I can see myself. I'll snipe him in the face. So he's hanging out, he's not really a big threat. Yeah, killing the commander does take him away from his screen for a little bit, but honestly, I'm not going to waste an artillery strike just on him. It's not worth it. Now, let me talk about the revives again. What I mean is, you get killed, killed, quotes. You're then incapacitated for, whatever, 15 seconds. You can then be revived. And in Bad Company 2, that would still be a death when you, when you got, quote-unquote, killed there. 
but in this game it doesn't take that ticket away it doesn't add that death till that incapacitated time or critically wounded time or whatever runs out and you your character body disappears and you go back to the spawn screen so hopefully battlefield 3 revives will either take away the death or you won't get the death added that'd be really really nice obviously kd's kill death ratios would be way higher which i'm a fan of because i usually roll with a squad that has a medic i actually enjoy playing medic when battlefield 3 drops i will be playing medic first i love the healing and reviving and it's good points and yeah i'm just a big fan of it so right now i'm kind of looking around seeing uh, if there's anything around me i was spotting but sometimes it might be wrong so start shooting me from somewhere and then i'm gonna scope up and the size of these maps is huge I mean, Call of Duty has nothing on this game for map size. You have no idea because this one base might be a Call of Duty map. And there's a ton of them. This map is friggin' enormous. And it's one of the, I'd, I'd say it'd be a life, I said one of the smaller ones, but it's, it's medium size. It's not that big compared to, uh, let's say, Operation Smokescreen. Or I believe a 64 player Karkan might be the same size as this if, uh, I don't know, someone can probably Google uh, Battlefield 2 map sizes, but yeah, that's one thing I really enjoy is being able to spread out, and there's a lot of metagame, there's game within the game, instead of LOL, raffle cakes, arena deathmatch, Call of Duty, instant respawn, blah blah blah, it's all shoot each other in the back, and giggle giggle giggle, kill death streak, and then 720 backflip chocolate sauce. To me, that's not fun, if it's fun to you, that's great, I'm happy for you, that's perfect. But to me, I'd rather play more of a tactical shooter where I have room to breathe and it's more fun. Oh my god, Shibby Bow feels slow pace. That's cause kids like fast paced and that's why all the 12 year olds. Oh my god, Shibby, you hate cod. Well, I'm not a big fan of fish. So that's one bit, but anyways, it feels like the Battlefield community is more mature, which I'm 22 so I can respect that and believe me the 360 uh, Call of Duty boys which that's what I've played Black Ops on I have probably 30 hours in that game on the Xbox here at our house that you know my roommates will play all the time but I kinda just jump on from now to then I mean it's it's a it's a fine game and I'm not gonna say oh my god it's horrible it's just not for me and a lot of people I know it's not for them so if you like Call of Duty and you like Battlefield there you go that's just great for you, I'm happy, but the more mature crowd in Battlefield, I'm all about that. People don't have the names XXX666 Smokeweed for Life Man, all typed out in Leet, XXX Arbing the Chief, Raffle Raffle, Nice Slice Slice Slice. You don't really see that in the Battlefield community. You don't hear the mics of the kids that, honestly, I question, wait, is that a girl or a boy? When that happens, you know you're playing the wrong game. My piece right there. Disagree, agree, whatever. Using the UAV in the middle of the city, smart. Because it gets the most out of it. Instead of placing that in some corner where you wouldn't be able to see anyone. Whatever. And I'm spotting the guy kind of above me on the mountains. So I'm not really sure, like, is he coming for me? Does he know? Does he know? Bro, he knows. But then there's a guy coming up the ramp here. Kinda, you see me, I'm the guy with the star above the hotel flag. I'm like, bro. 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 Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, you're dead. L96A1, which has an incredible sound. It sounds so bomb. Like the echo, like the crack is so satisfying. That's why I like using this rifle because it's hilarious and it's awesome. So, there you go. That's the only clutch kill I got because I'm commander and I'm really not supposed to be killing anyone. My minions, that is my squad, is going crazy. And if you haven't noticed, in the top right, right now, US, that I'm commanding for, has 17 tickets. The mech team has 10. This is coming right down to the wire, guys. It's getting crazy. I'm going to start talking faster. Oh, my God. Just kidding. It's really not that important. But, honestly, my heart was going. Usually, when you get that adrenaline kick, you know, you're doing something right. And I just love that feeling when it gets down to the... Makes you feel alive. Let's just say that. Right now I'm going to try an artillery. 
a squad of dudes there, but the map does run out of time, which is fine. So 12 to 3 right now. Two tickets left. I'm freaking out. Zero. USMC team has won the round 10 to 0. And that was awesome. I get double points and I place second on the team. I'm not really sure where I place in the server, but we will find out in this post commentary, gameplay commentary. So there I am, Shibby, 64 points. Yep, second in the server. The other commander that lost, he does not get the 2x bonus. And that's it. So that was a round of commander. It's not for everyone, but I do enjoy it from time to time. It's kind of like a microing my own team, like StarCraft 2 or playing chess, whatever. Once again, I'm Shibby2142. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out.